Rigidly mounted engines are becoming more popular in recent uh, supercars like the Valkyrie T50, cars like that. So let's uh, talk about the biggest problems involved in this. Now, why should you listen to me? Well, if you're new to the channel, I'm Oscar from Elmer Racing. We design and manufacture custom engines for top race teams, supercars, resto mods, and similar. So the first engine we designed and manufactured, a Thor, that has won five back-to-back -back world championships in the RP968 and has the highest power to mass ratio of any OEM circuit racing engine. So the biggest issue when rigidly mounting a V engine is usually designing the engine mounts correctly. Uh, we have to deal with both chassis and suspension loads as well as thermal expansion. So let's compare these loads on a simplified FEM model of our upcoming Fenrir engine. Uh, it has some uh, naive placeholder engine uh, uh, engine mount designs basically in, incorporated in that. Um, so let's take a look at our uh, load case here with uh, 10 kilonewton meters of torque and uh, 10 kilonewtons of uh, bending load. Color scale here here is uh, fixed with uh, red color at 400 megapascals uh, with a displacement scale of 880. And as you can see in the in the video here, there's barely any stress at all, so it's actually around 20 megapascals, so it doesn't really register in this uh, color scale. Very low load. So, I mean, it's not very exciting. So let's take a look at what happens when we get the engine up to 90 degrees when mounted to an infinitely stiff carbon fiber chassis that has a, a thermal expansion coefficient of close to zero, basically. So the displacement scale, uh, this is approximately 150. And the color scale is the same at uh, red at 400 megapascals. So as you can see in the video here, uh, if you have a large enough screen, we do have some red areas. So that means we are at 400 megapascals. In reality, we're a little bit past 400 megapascals. So there is no chance for these mounts would work a long time on, on a chassis. Uh, so the naive solution to this uh, load problem would be to redesign the engine mounts to be stronger and uh, add bracing to them to make them stiffer uh, to uh, mount further out on the engine. And uh, this is what you see on most racing engines with uh, absolutely these crazy massive chunks of solid aluminum plate being used with uh, engine or uh, bolts through them as, as engine mounts. This is <laughs> like a horribly bad idea. So the engine size, uh, like this type of engine, is on the order of magnitude of about one meter. Uh, the thermal expansion coefficient for aluminum is approximately 20 uh, micrometers per meter Kelvin. Uh, so for engine temperature about 90 degrees, that's approximately 70 degrees over a uh, standard temperature pressure STP. Um, so 70 degrees uh, times uh, uh, 20 thermal expansion coefficient, that gives us about 1,400 micrometers or 1.4 millimeters. So this is the uh, thermal expansion of, of that engine at 70 degrees. So if you compare this, so if you make a stronger uh, engine mount and you have those, those mounts rigidly mounted, this is like equivalent of you're trying to compress an engine by like 1.4 millimeters. And that's a, just an insane amount of force you need to do that. And that is uh, absolutely impossible to do with engine mounts. So what you should do instead is to understand how this thermal expansion works, how the load works, and design the engine mounts so that they flex correctly. You need them to be uh, stiff in torque and bending, so uh, torque and, and uh, bending, but so that, yeah, they work well with the chassis and suspension loads and you get the natural frequencies and stiffnesses uh, correct for the, for the overall car package. But they need to be flexible for thermal expansion, so when the engine expands, you don't have these insane uh, loads on, on the uh, mounting points. Otherwise, you're going to uh, break something or you're going to have like forced uh, rubbing it with the mounting surfaces and the bolts are going to get loose and start rattling or uh, even shear the bolts off or something like that. If you want uh, help in rigidly mounting a custom Elmer racing engine to your car, click the link in the video description.